The Xiaomi M365 electric scooter is controlled by a small thumb throttle. It works fine and it's fairly comfortable, but as someone who spent many years riding motorcycles and mopeds, I wish that this thing could use the twist grip style throttle that I've grown accustomed to. Now, thanks to the magic of 3D printing, it can. I recently bought myself an Ender 3 3D printer and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've printed some useful bits, like this webcam mount and this tool holder, and some much less useful bits, like this tiny, tiny milk crate. The other day, I had the idea of printing some kind of throttle tube adapter that would allow me to control the M365 just like a motorcycle. After a quick search on Thingiverse, I was pleased to find that a Spanish user by the name of Gothic had done the hard work of designing it for me. Now, I'm not the most patient of people, and this is a fairly sizable print compared to my tiny, tiny milk crate. So I decided to print this part on a larger nozzle and save myself about four hours of print time. Unfortunately, I have no idea what I'm doing, and I completely bodged the print settings, creating the stringy rough mess you see before you. Then the part completely separated from the print bed and failed completely. Since the part was about 80% done, I thought, hey, let's just go see if it works anyway and to my surprise, it fits perfectly snug and works pretty flawlessly. After some light sanding, it doesn't look so bad and it feels much nicer on your palms. The sensible thing now would be to tweak the print settings and try it again, but like I said, I'm not a very patient person, and I'd rather not waste this pretty functional part. So I decided to print the remaining portion of the tube and attempt to plastic weld it back together. I first measured the remaining space on the handlebar, added a couple millimeters onto that to create an overhang and chopped the rest of it off in Tinkercad. I did this by making an appropriately sized box and turning it into a hole. I love Tinkercad, so easy. After it was done printing, I checked the fitment, bang on. I had heard that you can whack a bit of PLA filament into a Dremel and use it to weld parts back together. The idea is the friction of the spinning filament creates enough heat to melt the PLA and you can tack things together. It does work, but it's a fiddly pain in the arse. So I did three tacks to hold it in place and then decided to try my luck with a heat gun instead. This was much messier, but it was a lot quicker and easier. Plus, I'm planning on covering this with a grip anyway, so appearance isn't that crucial. Now, fitting the grips. Seems easy enough, but good god this was hard. Taking them off is no trouble, just wiggle a little screwdriver inside there and spray some WD-40 and they should slide straight off. Be careful with the screwdriver if you don't want to scratch your bars. To put new grips on, I've always used hairspray, because it's slippy when you first apply it and it dries sticky to keep them in place. The problem here was getting the grip over the 3D printed part. It's both slightly larger than the grip wants, quite grippy due to the texture of the print, and a lot more brittle than an aluminium bar. After heating the grip up, stretching it, cutting the end off, and swearing for about 15 minutes, I finally got it on. Riding around, the design works pretty well. One thing I immediately noticed is the level of control you have at low speeds. The thumb throttle is very hard to hold at like quarter speed, but it feels very natural with the twist grip. It didn't take long for me to notice the downsides, however. Firstly, cruise control becomes unreliable due to the bumps in the road and the weight of the throttle tube jiggling the lever. If you don't use cruise control, it's not a big deal, but personally, I do like it. On the plus side, it's much more comfortable to hold the twist grip than it is to constantly hold the thumb throttle down, so kind of a compromise. Then I noticed the biggest downside, when you're riding an electric scooter, you often have to hop off the side and pick up the scooter to navigate curbs and stairs. With the twist roll, it's almost impossible not to twist the grip while lifting the scooter up. That makes it pretty dangerous, and I kept finding myself unwittingly accelerating as I lifted the scooter up a curb. So that's probably the reason it's fitted with a thumb throttle anyway, and definitely the reason I'll be switching back to one on my scooter. But oh well, we had fun. If you like the video, hit subscribe for more techie nonsense. I've got loads in the works. And if you want more Xiaomi scooter content, be sure to let me know. Cheers.